In this video, I'm gonna be going over a concept that I think is super slept on in Madden. We're gonna be talking about it from the empty tray stack, but this can actually apply to more than just this formation. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, every single day I post videos that can be uh, that can help you get better on both the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. And so if you're looking to get better, hit subscribe, it's completely free to do that. And we are in our empty tray stack formation today. I'm gonna to be going over a concept. This is something that can be applied outside of this formation, but I'm gonna show you how it works inside of this formation in this video. Now, if you've not already got my empty tray stack offensive guide, I wanna let you know that I've put that in my true fan membership. My true fan membership is the best place to catch my most in-depth schemes and analysis. It's where I up basically give a meta update every week about what my offense is doing right now, what my defense is doing right now, and what the pro players or the Madden circuit is doing right now, the competitive community. So if you want to get access to that high-level Madden uh, content, all you got to do is pay $5 a month. You can cancel it at any time. So if you just want to go get the scheme and then cancel the membership, you can do that as well. Um, but it's just a great place for you to be able to not only to support the channel, but also get really competitive. And in Madden 22, we're going to be launching a Discord for just that community, not for my YouTube channel necessarily yet, but just for that true fan community because those are the, the people that I want to pour into the most. So if you've not joined the true fan membership, um, I would encourage you to do that. Now, what we're going over in this video is this idea of short side corner routes. So we're going to go over two plays. The first one is going to be Z under, and then the second one that we're going to go over is the play bench corner, and we might get into smash scene if we have time. We're just going over the left side. We're not going to deal with the right side uh, at all in this video. You can um, you can kind of do whatever you want, but I just want to show you this idea of a quarter route to the left side, and the reason I want to show this to you is because this is, in my opinion, one of the most slept on concepts in Madden. Most people think I have to run my corner route to the wide side of the field. The problem is because cover three is splitting the deep safeties into thirds, if you take a look here, you're going to see that I have the right third, the middle third, and the left third. But the middle third is coming from the right side. And so because of the grid system that Madden has put into the game, if there is a corner route that goes from the wide side of the field to the outside, that cornerback has more likelihood to jump it than actually the left side. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I just run um, a corner route to R1, and then I'm just going to run something like this, okay? Very simple concept. I want you to watch the corner on the right side of the field. You're going to see that that corner sits on him. As you see right there, he sits on him. Why? Because that corner has a specific grid that he has to defend. And based on the fact that there's a middle third in the middle of the field, that corner can be a lot more aggressive on that corner route because this guy is still in the grid. So if there's a vertical route that comes up this seam, this guy has it. Whereas on the left side, if there's a vertical route that goes up the seam, the outside third guy has it. So the outside third is always going to play bail on the left side of the screen uh, pretty much. Okay, And let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to run this Z under concept. I just want you to watch the triangle receiver here. And what you're going to see is that corner route will never jump him. He, that, or that corner on the left will never jump that corner route. It does not matter what route I run. I could run anything. I could run anything on that side of the field, and I'm going to show you my favorite concept to run in just a second, but I can literally do anything on this side of the field. If I have a corner out, I'm going to move this guy in. I'm not even going to, I'm just going to leave him here. I'm going to put him on a hitch, or not even a hitch. That's probably too easy. I'm going to put him on a flat. Watch this concept. The corner on the left never, never plays him. Right there, he played him better, but as long as that guy runs vertical, that other receiver, even if he doesn't, you're going to have a lot of success with the short side corner route, especially if you have Gunslinger. And I'll run a couple other routes over there. So I'm going to use a drag here. It's probably one of my favorite ways to do this. But look at what it does. See how you can fit that window in? Okay? And it's even better if you don't motion him. Um, technically, the, if you don't, if you let him run, because um, when you pull the zone, what I'm getting at here is when I pull Evans out here, if I don't let him set, it kind of glitches out the coverage, but if I let him set watch, you'll see out and the corner is open on that sideline. Okay. Now, another thing that I can do is I can create this, um, basically this smash concept, which is very good against the shell, very, very good against the shell. And so what you'll see here is if I use a hitch, put square on a hitch, motion him out, kind of set right there. 
you're going to see that the hitch typically will be wide open for a quick little gain. That's probably one of my favorite ways to run this concept. The other thing that you're going to see um, that I think is really effective though is if I do something like this, and here's the, here's the real secret motion that you can do out of this. This is where we isolate the corner. So what this would look like is I'm gonna motion this guy to the right, just like that, and then just snap while he's moving. And now you see that corner gets his hips turned, and now I can throw a really catchable corner route against pretty much anything that the defense is gonna do. This short side corner concept applies to more than just formation. this formation though. You can do this out of almost anything. I'm gonna audible to um, the, I don't know if I can actually, I think I can go to this formation here. So watch this, I'm gonna put triangle on a corner route and then I'm just gonna put um, square on a, a smoke screen. And watch that corner on the left, you see drops back and see flips his hips around and now I have an easy window to throw this corner out. It applies to more formations than just the tray stack. It's not a tray stack specific thing, but it is something that you can certainly expand on in the tray stack for, um, in the tray stack offense. So for example, if I go to the play smash seam, you see I have that same idea, the short side corner right. Now this is an S corner, but if you watch how it works, you see that the corner, um, he did play him a little bit better. The, the S corner is a little bit of a unique route. Um, it doesn't quite do exactly what I personally want it to do. Uh, it doesn't have a sharp cut to it, really. That's the problem with it. It's a little bit too vertical. Um, but you'll see here, if I just run this play, watch. I'm going to have at least a shot at hitting this. Now, the corner did sit on that, and that's probably because that route's a little bit more vertical, and the route, the cut specifically, is a little bit more angling upfield. But there's another route that you can use as well. You can use C route. So I'm going to use this bench corner concept and just watch the square receiver. Watch how that outside third does nothing. The outside third does absolutely nothing to stop that. Whereas if I run a C route to the right, and I'm going to show you that here right now, if I run a C route to the right side or to the wide side of the field, which is what most people think is the right thing to do, and do a concept like that, watch the outside third now. You're going to see um, he doesn't actually sit on the C route. I think it might have been because it was a little shallower, but he does at least kind of uh, look at that route. Whereas on the left side, it's never going to be played in zone. If they if they have zone coverage, short side zero. This used to be this has been a concept in Madden for years. Um, it's just people have never had a short side corner route as much as they've had short side C route. But you see here, C route, see that right there? See how he runs into the zone? That's what I'm getting at. Whereas bench corner. And really, it's the fact it's twofold. It's the fact that it's a stock C route, but it's also the fact that it's to the short side of the field. You don't have to have a vertical pull route. So, for example, I could take triangle and put him on a hitch. Something simple, just like this, and watch down and away, easy dot for the quarterback. So you can kind of implement this concept into almost any formation. Um, another thing that I like to do is I'll take square and I can put him on a corner if I have hot route master and then I'll basically just streak, um, I'll streak the other receiver. And what you'll see that I can do is I can again pull that zone inside just like that. And now I've got him chasing and now I've got a lot of room to throw this corner route, whether it be against man or against zone, because typically corner routes do a decent job against man as long as you have solid route running. But really the biggest thing that I wanted to really hit on in this video is the fact that if you're not using short side corner routes, I think you're making a big mistake. Um, and again, you don't have to use, it doesn't have to be um, corner and streak, it can be corner and hitch. So I motion him in and now I've got smash again, the same basic concept and look, he does not play it. He flips his hips around and goes back vertical because of the grid system. So all that to say, you wanna learn the rest of this five wide scheme, be sure to pick up the true fan membership. It's all in there for you, all the stuff that you need to know and it's gonna to continue to get updated. What I like about the true fan membership is it allows me to take people every single week and give them kind of some nuggets and give them some food to chew on um, that's a little bit more in depth than just a tip video. So you want the meat and potatoes of my content, get to the true fan membership. It's just five bucks a month. There's a link in the description. But if you haven't already started using short side corner rounds, my advice would be to do so as quickly as possible.